Let's just prepare, prepare, prepare Billy Elliot. Hi guys, what's up? This is Nisha here and I am back, but this time I'm going to switch it up a little. This isn't going to be about books. So I'm here to tell you a story today and I don't know how this video is going to play out. I just turned my camera on, I have no planning, I wrote the heading and that's my page. So I'm just going to sit and I will tell you a story and let's begin. So recently if you watched my last video you will know that I got tickets to go see Wicked in Edinburgh or Wicked. Obviously it's a theatre production so you have to be there early to get in. So we were there, we were ready, we were an hour early, we were like right we can all go in and sit in a restaurant and get some water or something like that. Everything was fine, we were all having fun as a family. It was a whole bonding experience driving down on the car, we were singing songs, I was listening to Billy Elliot because I'm obsessed with Billy Elliot. We're ready and we're excited, my family's excited to go and see this production that my mom had got for us for our Christmas and then we go into the car park. Now this is where everything starts to go wrong. We go into the car park, we can't get a car parking space, we don't know where to park. So we spent 15 minutes trying to look for this car parking space. We finally found a car parking space, we go drive into it, right okay everything's going our way, we still have 50 minutes left, so we're fine, we're fine, we're doing fine. We go into a lift, it's a two minute walk from the car park to the theatre, so we're still in the lift, we're waiting, we're waiting, and then the lift door's open. Okay, we're on the wrong floor, oh man, go back into the lift, press the button again, up we go. Now this, my friends, is when everything goes wrong. You have never felt pressure until you are in a lift and the lift breaks. Now this wasn't just any break, this was a man-made break. So my dad, being the smartest man he is, he is genius, decides let's make everybody laugh by jumping up and down in a lift. What could go wrong? Just take a minute to let this through because I know you know where this is going and I know where this is going because I was there. Now, I didn't even think to stop him. I didn't even think, what could go wrong in the lift? So he jumps and he goes back down again and it's fine. Everything's fine. We're all good. And then he does it again. He jumps, he lands, boom. It wasn't even that the lights went out because they didn't, all the lights were on. It was the fact none of us had signal in the lift because all, I don't know, we were underground, it didn't have signal, don't know why they should have signal in lift. The whole lift broke, okay? Smart move, dad. Thanks, dad. Right, we have 45 minutes left to get to this pantomime production. We're pressing the button, call button, nobody's answering, we're waiting. Okay, 40 minutes left, pressing it again. Okay, fine, somebody answers. We are like, okay, we're stuck in the lift. Please come help us, come get us out, we need you here. It takes them 10 minutes to arrive, so half an hour left. And then they go, oh by the way, we have a 10 minute wait, our engineer isn't here. So we're like, right, okay, we'll still make it, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I get really frustrated because I've wanted to see Wicked for two years and I was sitting in the lift just like, oh, time, time, every two minutes. I was checking my phone to see the time and then my dad starts whistling. Now, if you are stuck in a two foot by two foot lift with like no room, with five people in it, I am on the floor in a ball because I'm cold, I have a jacket on, I just want to be in the theater. My mom's on the floor because she's cold too. We can't be bothered standing. So we're in the lift and we're sitting on the floor. And then my sister and her friend are sitting at the other side of the lift in this little two, Foot box and they're over there sitting and they're laughing playing music and I'm like why do you even find this funny? Why do you even find this funny? So I put my earphones in because I hate life at that moment. Yeah and my dad starts whistling and I'm like can you please stop? So I'm getting agitated. It just drives me insane that they could be so calm about it and I'm checking the time. 20 minutes left. Okay, engineer's not here, let's ring again. 
Yeah, by the way, the engineer's stuck in traffic. Oh, what more could go wrong today? So after about 20 minutes, so time is up, theater performance has started. I'm very angry at this point. I want to grab somebody and throw them against the lift to see if it'll open then. I've been clicking buttons over and over again. Nothing's working. So the engineer arrives. You're late. We're talking to the security, they're like, right, it's okay, we'll get you out soon. And we're stuck in the middle of the floor, so we can't really just ply open the door. After the engineer's 10 minute working on the lift, so we're 10 minutes late for the performance. Okay, that's fine, we've just missed the start, we can get in. The lift just starts working again, so we're taken up and we're on the first floor. Okay, right, run, run to the theatre, the theatre's over there. Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, we get to the theatre doors and they're locked. Eh. Now, as you can tell, this story progresses to get worse and worse and worse. So the theater doors are locked and we're like, what is going on? The security guard starts running to the doors. We can see him from the inside because the doors are glass. So he's running and he's like, yes. And we're like, we're stuck in the lift. We were so sorry. So remember, we're just 15 minutes late now. And he's like, Oh, that's such a shame. We're going to make you wait another half an hour to get in because the action hasn't died down yet. I want to kill someone. So after all that, we missed 40 minutes of Wicked. We got there about 15 minutes before the interval and we seen the end of it. So from the parts that I have seen of Wicked, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I would recommend it as a good show but I say get there early guys because if you don't you're gonna have to wait half an hour like I did. What a mean, mean security man and oh, the engineer who got stuck in traffic. It was just my luck that that would happen at a show that I was dying to go to. Oh, guys be on time. Don't jump in lifts. That is my motto in life is don't jump in lifts because the lift will break. Even though it says 10 person maximum and it has a two foot by two foot radius, you're going to break the lift if you get jumping it, okay? That's just the way the world works. <laughs> if you did enjoy this rant of a video, please give it a thumbs up. I have exams this week and next week, so I'm going to be studying, but I'm hopefully going to be making a few videos along the way, so it's all good. Please subscribe down below and I love you and I will see you all with a new video next week. Bye! Mm -hmm.